Today we have with us the Dr. Raksha Thakkar, BHMS CCAH, Coordinator, she and her trust to one environment in Mumbai, trustee of TJ Educational Society, committee member of Bagle Estate Doctors Association, Tane, on, honored by Elite Magazines in Punjab, also facilitate Bachelor Therapy Foundation course with 16 years of experience. And the topic is holistic homeopathic approach in treating COVID. On behalf of IFPH, I'm welcoming you, Doctor. You can have the platform for the next 35 minutes, 40 minutes. Okay. So I'm starting with the presentation and expressing my gratitude to the team, IFPH, for uh, promotion of homeopathy and help, helping me provide a platform to share my views on homeopathy and COVID, the holistic approach in COVID. Thanks to Dr. Gyanesh sir and uh, Dr. Bob sir, Dr. Ati Narayan sir, Dr. Shahu Ranjan sir, and the list is like it goes on and on, and a very supportive team of uh, Malaysia who have been helping each and every faculty member to share their views and daily learning. So holistic approach in treating home, uh, COVID through homeopathy. Seeking the blessings of the Almighty Lord, we begin the session for the day. Expressing gratitude to the team IFPH, International Forum for Promoting Homeopathy, Malaysia Homeopathy Health Group, Thanks, Dr. Dhanesh sir, Bob sir, Dr. Ati Narayan sir, Dr. Shalu Ranjan sir for the kind support and the initiative and providing me a platform to share my views. Thanks to all the students and the delegates joining in. We bow our head to the master, the creator of this most beautiful science, that is homeopathy, Dr. Christian Frederick Samuel Henneman sir. So we have been going through the pandemic, the era of COVID, post-COVID. And as we all know, there was a panicky situation. So in homeopathy, Nasi, now they say there is variant strains like Omicron going on. But in homeopathy, we need not worry about the strains basically because it is individualistic healing. And the strains, no matter n number of strains may come, but the conventional medicine, the mode, these people, they have to worry about it because they are basically concerned in regards to the disease, the diagnostic criteria. It's not that we don't consider the diagnostic criteria. It is helpful in the management proper, but wherein, the individual is given prime importance. Later comes the disease, the diagnosis, and the prime importance is given to the individual. So every epidemic provokes in turn an ability to defend against such disease. So in fact, we are boosting our immunity. Yes, but if before that, when the, then, uh, there is array of symptoms, then how do we tackle that? So for that homeopathy offers an effective treatment for SARS, that is severe acute respiratory syndrome and its virus. The different strains of corona safeguards against any viral infection. Then this is the coronavirus. It's a contagious disease with rampant spread through airborne, the droplets, cough and sneeze by contaminated surface saliva and skin contact. So we come in contact with the patient and wherein OCD, obsessive compulsive disorders, these patients are also on the rise when we see COVID patients. Along with COVID, the OCD patients, it gets very difficult for them to tackle this COVID scenario because constant washing of the hands and you will be able to see this. It is mostly marked in pipilinum, the desire to wash. 
the hands that is basically mask and as was said like genus epidemicus you can prescribe arsenic fine but then taking into consideration the that particular area and the number of symptoms that were present common to those patients then we can say yes arsenicum album when supposing it is in malaysia then the area differs so you have to consider in group the totality of the symptoms which is common then you can prescribe keeping into consideration the individualistic pqrs as well that is peculiar queer rare strain symptom if noted note down those symptoms and accordingly prescribe that would be a holistic healing then this common symptoms which are observed in this covid is fever loss of appetite fatigue loss of smell shortness of breath cough coughing up sputum muscle ache and pain in severe cases we can find difficulty in walking there is confusion bluish face or lip due to less oxygen circulation and that is the reason why bluishness of the face and lip is seen then coughing up of blood the persistent chest pain decreased white blood cells kidney failure and high fever this is during the complications that we see kidney failure so the oxygen saturation has been dropped and those patients who are mild they don't have any symptoms they were also getting admitted in hospital so the basic criteria we have to save the resources when isolation is suffice the purpose then rushing to the hospital doesn't make any sense the anxiety the panicky and when one can deal with those symptoms by mere isolation but it was like the anxiety and the panic is state so one point i want to other on that please save on the resources so that in dire need we can make use of the resources where it is actually required investigations are rt pcr the polymerase change reaction test analyzes upper respiratory specimens for sars cov the virus that causes covid 19 then uh, the other investigations are high resolution computerized tomography in severe cases to determine presence of the viral infection in the body like we have the viral load even in hiv and aids we consider the viral load so the viral load has to be considered in such cases and when the viral load is increasing then accordingly like one to the diagnosis is made before treatment after treatment we can compare then oxygen saturation via pulse oximeter to be monitored avoid antibiotics and antiviral drugs paracetamol usually we prescribe only when the fever is above 100 but if you can manage without paracetamol all the more great mm. let's understand through a case this is the case of male around 55 years old living in a joint family recently that is this is during the pandemic peak time the ongoing pandemic infection all family members got infected family status the patient son daughter in law wife and son's two kids and he himself was infected with covid 19 this was short telephonic conversation when both husband and wife were hospitalized but he stayed with wife because wife was much unwell he was symptomatically a symptomatic initially but his test was positive so conversation started like this with high regards he said madam when do you have time 10 minutes to talk to me i said yes yes please go on okay so this was a telephonic basically prescription and he said i don't know what is happening while i was at hospital there were no symptoms so i said when there was no symptoms and you have been for in hospital for 10 days may i know the reason behind it 
and you are saying that no paracetamol injection was also required then what was the basic reason because whenever we see the patient comes to the doctor when he is having some concern he cannot manage the disease and he cannot adapt and that is the reason why he is seeking remedial aid aid means help so remedial aid is then sought then i ask why do you do you need hospitalization and why did you stay for so long he said my wife was very ill so the basic concern here is wife rather than self he is concerned about the wife we were in the same hospital sharing a room and i could see that she needs my help so i didn't leave from there and stayed for her so but something is going on in your mind concerned about the wife but what is exactly that is going on in your mind that is the reason why you are seeking help remedial aid from a doctor okay so he said the covid infection has been in my whole body and my whole family very badly these days i feel very weak initially i was available for my family members to take care but day to day my body is getting weak so what is it that you are feeling right now present predominant persistent what is it that is so very bothering you now that is important so in high tone no no nothing else i am otherwise okay all my routine is perfectly set in high tone he is saying that mark these words okay so i get up early have my daily routine make my own breakfast and i am all healthy now these days sometimes just fever comes and mild cough so i feel that i will also be bedridden like all family members so this is the basic problem and tension that he is having in his mind so the rubrics taken are careful of relatives about delusion thin getting fear poverty of and reverence of those around him he is asking do you have some time to talk to me ma'am and the reverence was seen through his tone his way of talking okay so why delusion thin getting we will understand that okay so these are the rubrics this is the repertorial chart and the remedy given was sulfur sulfur 200 single dose suffice the purpose and it didn't require any further dosing so delusion wealth no no i can manage everything is fine with me this is what he is saying so he also had a tinge when he said that he is doing all things on his own delusion thin he is getting this is the main feel of sulfur so i have compiled some rubrics and which will be helpful for us and it this covid post covid era when the patient comes and they would be presenting with some symptoms which is the rubric that we can pick up for this symptoms okay so when the oxygen saturation is dropping down and there is fear of falling from 95 the oxygen saturation is going to 92 then 90 thinking constant downward motion so we are aware of this rubric constant downward motion but the implementation we are not aware so gelsemium is well selected remedy and gelsemium needs light desire positive light don't worry nothing will go wrong reassurance just like we have even in econite they like positive reassurance then gelsemium clings and oxygen mask and one cannot move if i move then the oxygen saturation again drops so motion aggravates so mind anxiety motion aggravates downward motion borax coffee acrudia then gelsemium thorinum and canicula and this is the rubric taken from synthesis repertory sir okay then oxygen is maintained now 1992 so 
99, no problem. But now 1992, so there will be dyspnea, breathlessness, and constant panic, fear of death. What if the oxygen drops down? And again, if I will be having suffocative feeling, breathlessness, and I may die, that fear is there. So due to anxiety, oxygen has started dropping. So mind fear death of dyspnea with thorinum. Okay. The grave impact on the psyche, so psychosomatic. So we have the remedy, Aralia Resimosa for that. So psychological themes, anxiety, fear, Aralia Resimosa, and fear basic. And in that also fear disease of, we have Aralia, fear lung complaints of, again, Aralia, fear respiration of Aralia. So this is the specific and Aralia Resimosa can be given. Consider the totality and the individual as well. But when you want to give quick results and there is no time with you, wherein you cannot ask many questions and you have to give the result as fast as possible and through homeopathy. And if in acute cases, result is given through homeopathy, the patient will come to you again. The whole family will come if you give them accurate results in especially acute cases. Chronic, yes, but chronic they can wait. Acute, they are in a hurry. Jaldi, be fast enough. And uh, I, this, I want to get really fast. That is the basic criteria. So now post-COVID, fear of lung disease. Remedy for asthmatic condition, the Aralia Rasimulza. Then cough, aggravated by lying down. Dyspnea or violent cough after first sleep. Ameliorated by slightest expiration, but louder during inspiration. Inspiration is loud. Constriction of the chest feels as if a foreign body were in the throat. Dry cough or asthma occurring before midnight or lying down or more commonly after 11 p.m. with drenching sweat during sleep. So these are the features of Aralia Resimosa. Please mark it. The virus has hit the warning bell with interaction like we are doing now. Then global be friendly. Collaboration with Malaysia team, then the India team, and all the other countries collaborating and global equity. Together we can combat, and we did combat. Now the cases are low compared to the earlier ones. I did uh, lost my brother, uh, virtual come real, Dr. Ashitosh Mishra, uh, through COVID, and I dedicate this session to him. Uh, he died of uh, complication and uh, oxygen was not available to him. That is the reason why I am emphasizing, please save resources. Science is evolving and we need to keep abreast of the same. And this is the basic short COVID compilation of the rubric and the case and we are keeping abreast. See this at Malaysia group. I am really very thankful to everyone because each day learning and each day want to upgrade themselves. That yes, what is happening in India? Yes, what is happening in Malaysia? Can we be of some help to the patients? What is going on in your country? What is going on in the Malaysian country? And together we can collaborate and accordingly help the patient feel better. Thank you so much, everyone, for your patient listening. And it was wonderful interacting with you all. Yes, now Dr. Sridhar Guru, sir. Uh, yes, madam, it was very nice presentation. Keep it up. But I would like to ask very few questions. That one is that when... Uh, oxygen needed when it may come down below the 90. What is your uh, opinion about that? If so oxygen is going to down below 90, what about your management? Whether it can be managed with homeopathic medicine or not? So it's, it's like basically, as I said, the oxygen, oxygen when, when the saturation, saturation is dropping, 
you need to, to focus, focus on, on that solution. so that when in time of need the oxygen is supplied to the patient and the dropping of the oxygen then the fear of downward motion rubric was taken wherein gelsemium remedy can be considered so this is like resources if available we can save the patient homeopathy will help yes but where oxygen is required you need to give oxygen as well my oxygen was coming down below 90 but that i Uh, took a carbovage and aspirin sperma and but oxygen was not given when it is reached because of the fear that i was admitted but it couldn't give uh, there was no need that is our carbovage and aspirin sperma can also to improve the oxygen capacity that is one thing and another my question so is it's like uh, sir the oxygen saturation hmm. how you can increase see the age factor age factor also the capacity of the lung is like comparative okay, like okay. if you compare the young and the uh, aged one the oxygen so we suggest uh, exercises now since you are feeling better no? so we okay. can blow lightly you can blow balloon uh, so not only balloon they will oxygen. give that, that one three color this will come and we must have to do that foo foo like that up and it will that the board will come up and signometry signometry next. also they do to mm. know how much capacity is the lung no okay no, that they be are yes. doing that along with that i agree but i want to ask one so, more question uh, and uh, sir physiotherapy also help in this uh, yes that i agree that i want to ask one more question so many lot of the people are having sputum formation and cough and some Problem weakness and so many other problems, uh, especially this uh, sputum formation. After that, it is not reduced with so many medicines. It is not indicated medicine given, but it is not completely cured. Still, people are calling and they are asking what to do. But I gave the tuberculum. What constitutional and what is symptomatic? But it could in some cases, very few cases, it is not helping. What your opinion about that? <laughs> Wish you speedy recovery and you, the homeopathic medications which you are taking along with the allopathic medicine. So in this regards, you need to do yoga, meditation as well. This would also help in holistic healing. So as we have seen in aphorism number four, he is the preserver of health. Aphorism number four, organ on text. So you need to preserve the health as well. and how we can do that by lifestyle modification as well so lifestyle modification along with medication yoga meditation and then this all factors will help you to improvise on your health sir morning walk as well 8 to 10 am okay thank you very much thank you very much <laughs> wishing you speedy recovery Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. I I have a comment concerning the supply of oxygen. Uh, the idea is the alveolar cells are filled with fluids, and accordingly, pumping of oxygen will not help so much. The the better things to do is to activate the mitochondria within the alveolar cells in order to uh, activate the sodium potassium pump. And accordingly, you expel the fluids outside the cell. And accordingly, uh, at that time, uh, when, when you achieve expelling of fluids from the alveolar cells, uh, you can supply oxygen. And uh, but, but supplying oxygen uh, per se will not help that much. And accordingly, we should pick up among uh, homeopathic uh, remedies uh, to activate the mitochondria in the alveolar cell. This is uh, the best uh, uh, proper uh, approach for the treatment of uh, oxygen. Thank you. So along with the conventional mode of uh, treatment, the allopathic treatment along with that homeopathic is also going on. So in this regard, 
see when in case of emergency as well oxygen is required so the thing is like we even have limitations of homeopathy so when surgery is required so it is we have to collaborate with the allopath along with homeopathy so we cannot say that i will deal with homeopathy no need of it yes homeopathy help but where required and we need to know the limitations as well so relying only on one particular pathy telepathy or relying only on homeopathy no it has to be integrative holistic approach so that is thank you ma'am main thing so when you are taking allopathic treatment along with that homeopathy will help boost immunity like how does it boost pnei axis pituitary neuro endocrino immunological axis okay i am seeing dr manoj noting down the point and this is helping me boost the like and i am motivated sir so this is psycho neuro endocrino immunological axis and like when the medicine is administered on the tongue so we have the sublingual and the hypoglossal nerve then from there it is stimulated and from there the endocrines are involved so endocrines help in turn in metabolism so this will help boost your immunity so even if you are taking allopathy along with that homeopathy if taken then it will in turn help boost immunity so once you are recovering from covid and the doctor feel you are fine then they automatically taper the dose yes. and okay. homeopathy in turn ha a homeopathy in turn will help prevent relapse because it treat the root cause as well 